I am your host Angie Mlai and thank you so much for joining us today and today I have a lady that has done so much and she refuses to be called an entertainer or you know uh, entrepreneur she wants to be called a creative and after sitting down with her I agree she is a creative in all sorts of ways and manners so I'm gonna let I'm gonna introduce her <laughs> thank you so much for coming thank you how do I call you Muzoni or do I call yeah. you the drama, queen? the drama queen is fine <laughs> you know, the list is yeah. it's you're right um yeah. Usually, it just depends on the environment. If yeah. I'm in a meeting, I'm with Oni Donga. Mm -hmm. If I'm on stage, I'm with Oni Drama Queen. Or if I'm with my friends, I'm MDQ. So, let me ask you. <laughs> why, why MDQ? Why Drama Queen? So, I started playing uh, traditional drums when I was maybe 10 years old. I traditional? Used to, yeah, yeah. So, I used wow. to play. First, I started with like the congas in church. Um, mm -hmm. That really helped me stay awake during mass. And... Um, <laughs> And it was a cool little trick. Yeah. And then when I went to high school, I auditioned for the drama club. And uh, that was reserved for second formers and above. But I knew how to play this drum. So they say, okay, you're a first former who can play drums. So you can join the drama club. And mm -hmm. so it stayed. And, um, and then I think a few years, fast forward, mm -hmm. and we're at a gig, uh, maybe 2008. And I, I put up this picture as playing drums. And then I captured Madoni Drama Queen. Mm -hmm. And then I... Smiley face and my friends are like, yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Voila. Okay, the first time when I had Mudoni the drama queen. Yeah. If, honestly, I thought you might be very dramatic. <laughs> I was going to hear drama, drama, drama. No. no. So are you dramatic? I am theatric. Okay. I am given to theatrics. <laughs> my hair is a little bit over the top. And, um, Speaking of that hair. <laughs> yeah, well, and my hairdo has a name. Yes. Her name is Queen Sophia. Queen Sophia, why, why did you come back with that name? How did that name come um, up? That naming yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I just like the name. I like the name Sophia. I liked the Queen Sophia. Mm -hmm. So, Queen Sophia. It just so, kind of made sense <laughs> that my hair is royal. Okay, let's, yeah. let's, let's go. Let's start from <laughs> where it all began. Yeah. Who is Madoni? Let's get to know mm. you. So, I would say I'm, um, I'm um, highly energetic and super... Um, creative person mm -hmm. I enjoy thinking yeah. uh, and creating that's really how I feel alive that's when I come alive when you're thinking and creating. I'm thinking and creating and and um, developing I'm obsessive with the ideas that I love mm -hmm. and I, I just feel that this is the only true way to be authentic to be to be really you, you, you create the thing. Just, yeah. I feel like this is what we are endowed with. We are, we are creative beings, mm -hmm. and we should spend our lives uh, exploring. I, I feel like I look at nature and I see nature is so diverse. There's like a blade of grass, and then there's a leaf, and then there's a rock, and then there is water, and then there is animals and none of these things are the same but all of them are connected and I just feel like that's the way we are meant to live our lives just create the things that we want to see we want to enjoy we want to experience we want to be part of right. and I think that creating the creating uh, process um, it not only expands us, but that's also how we become immortal because we extend ourselves. I, do, I don't feel like I don't feel like you can truly create unless you're truly your, yourself. It's yeah. like you take yourself and the way you see the world and the things that you desire and the things that you want to experience mm -hmm. and all that stuff is happening in your head mm -hmm. and then you extend that out of your head and put it out there. Yeah, and manifest it as yeah. a thing for for yourself and perhaps even for others. Mm -hmm. And so then, even if you died or were removed from the equation, this thing that you have then left, and left that you have done, you, the space that you have uh, occupied, mm -hmm. really, that becomes, that's, that's an, yeah. a part of you that, is, that can never be separated exactly. from you. Mm -hmm. 
And and I I just I for me my whole idea of life is just to go occupying and conquering territories, mm -hmm. designing territories mm -hmm. first in my mind and then place them out of my mind and into the world and say, okay, this thing that I imagine, here's the way it looks. Well, this is how it is. And how it is and to enjoy it and... And we can, we can see it from your work. You can <laughs> tell that is unique because nothing that you've done is something that has been done before or people have not experienced it. So it's unique. I find everything that you do Thanks. unique. So that's <laughs> big ups to them. <laughs> Let's talk about your childhood. Where yeah. did you grow up? Mm. Like, well, well, how was that? Okay. So I grew up in uh, Dagoretti Corner in mm -hmm. Nairobi. Um, we were very uh, lower middle class, sort of always on the verge of... Yeah. Um, but we always, we ate, my parents made sure there was food on the table and mm. we went to school. Mm. I have an older sister, a younger brother, my mother is a teacher, my dad worked um, for an international organization. Mm. And um, so I feel like, I don't know, maybe, maybe the way we grew up, so we, I mean, being an artist or being a musician or all those things, being a those are not things that you did. Like you, yeah. your mother is a teacher, you pick a profession, you want to be a lawyer. So for the longest time, mm. I wanted to be a lawyer, but I remember that I was always having um, imaginary conversations in my head with imaginary <laughs> friends. Uh. I was always performing for the trees. We had, uh, we had no, you know, yeah. we, we had a one bedroom home, so we slept on the couch till mm. I was like 13. Mm -hmm. So my only privacy was in the toilet or outside. outside. So that's where I'd perform my concerts, mm -hmm. um, uh, sing out loud, annoy everybody. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I, but I think about it now, it's just, so we lived in Dagoretti Corner and I went to school at Lavington Primary. Mm -hmm. And uh, for many years I walked to school. Uh, mm -hmm. So we'd walk, we'd walk through Riara and you'd see this sort of very nice, uh, posh, uh, put together neighborhood. Yeah. And then we'd walk through Lavington and you'd see the same. Yeah. But then in my class, we had children uh, like myself who came from normal homes. We had mm -hmm. children who their mothers used to sell in the market, mm -hmm. in Kawangware market, which is where my mother used to go to the market. Mm -hmm. We had children, say the chief justice children then were in our school. Yeah. So I think I feel like I always saw all this interesting layers of lives and really not so much layers but versions mm -hmm. and I'd ask my dad how come some people live here yeah and he'd be like because they worked hard or because they stole money or <laughs> it just it would always depend on wow. you know what I was asking yeah. I'd be like okay how come they walk and yeah I mean, how come and we, we walk, walk and, and they're they getting go... picked by a driver okay. so I don't know I feel like from from the beginning mm -hmm. um, the way life was presented to me it's like it's it's your call yeah it's it's just your call how it's going to be if if you want to have a mercedes you will work hard if, uh, yeah so the idea was the bottom line was you have to work hard at it mm -hmm. uh, but also you don't have to work hard at it you can mm -hmm. also steal <laughs> and you will also have the same result yeah um and so the bigger idea for me really was it it's the way you see it mm -hmm. What you want is the thing that you'll get. Mm -hmm. That's the way it seemed to me. What you, how you mm -hmm. imagine. Mm -hmm. Has anything changed ever after, you know, after the, your success came your way? Has anything changed or do you still have that same? I absolutely believe that. that, and that that's never changed and that I don't imagine that at any point it will change. I feel very confident in that idea mm -hmm. that um, everybody's circumstances are different but for everybody, there is, it's given that it's on you. How it's going to play out is on you. You cannot choose perhaps uh, your initial circumstances. You don't choose the family you're born or the, the yeah. things that you don't choose, choose, you know, whether you're born with maybe disability or mm -hmm. that you cannot choose. But who you will be, your call. And we're going to give you some time to think about it as we're going to come back with more with Oni. So stay tuned. Okay, now, ladies, yeah. if you know you better.